what's up gamers we are heading to command fest richmond today so we're going to be doing some traveling get a little bit of travel vlog going show some cool food and show the convention because i always enjoy being able to go and uh check out the artist alley pick up some cool cards that i want and just play some commander with a bunch of cool people uh, i got a buddy that lives down there so we'll get together and probably get some group gaming in as well with his normal play group that uh is down in that area so i'm really excited but let's let's start adventuring all right we're starting that two and a half hour give or take drive down to richmond it was a pretty good day like a little cloudy not too much rain or anything so made made the drive pretty easy actually made it to Richmond. We are about to head to the convention center. You can see out the window. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go convention center, get our badge, go grab some lunch, find something good to eat, and then get into the game and get into the fun of the weekend. So let's take a look, see what we do. Luckily, the uh, hotel was really close to the convention center, so I could just kind of walk to some food place right by there. And I ended up stumbling across uh, a place called Wong Gonzales, which is Asian Mexican fusion. Uh, and got some really cool, delicious tacos there. They had a bunch of different options uh, for, for food to go for. Uh, and so I did like the, the pick four, right? Get a nice mix of it. So like some uh, mango shrimp tacos, some Asian barbecue pork tacos, um, Szechuan beef and grilled chicken, like some good, good stuff there. So very happy with the food choices. Uh, and then off to the convention. All right. So you got to see like the three items I got plus a badge that I was wearing around my, my neck, but, uh, you know, the command zone pass lets you sign up for an event, uh, which, or you could cash it in for like 50 tickets. But if you sign up for an event, you get 60 tickets. So it's like, why not just use the 50, make 60, and then play a game of Commander with some friends or new people like I did. Um, got a cool Arcane Signet, got that little button there to say, hey, I'm chilling out, or hey, I'm looking for just games with people that you can just go. But, you know, going into the convention center, the first thing you see is just like, you know, lots of space, lots of booth, at the awesome artist alley area. Um, you could. The line you already can see uh, for Rob Alexander was like that all weekend long. Um, lots of cool areas. There was, of course, a big modern event that was happening. I had to have gotten there at like 9 a.m. to have played in it. You know, probably next time I go, I'll, I'll play because I miss being able to play modern. But, you know, lots of space and lots of tables. It was very interesting this time because the last event that I went to, last Command Fest in Richmond, uh, was like, you know, the one at the at the time this time there was like three across the country so i got to experience it a little differently because i was interacting and hanging out with other content creators that i had played games with online that i was now meeting in person where this one was like you know a lot of those creators were at other events that were closer to to their home so um you know it was cool to be able to go and and have a different experience play with a couple of uh friends and see their play groups and stuff so uh, very cool to go and walk around and see the booth and we'll see a lot more of it later if you watch later in the video you'll get to be able to experience more so finale of devastation and it's... finale of devastation is like one of my favorite cards yeah but this one's even better because well uh, kind of not better but it turns into a dino. So it like it, it matches up with everything and you want to do. And it says non-creatures <laughs> can do combat damage. It's this would weren't blocked. Yeah. Ew, ew. And you're like, hey, guess what? I don't have any humans. <laughs> yeah. Like this, All right, so you need one more cut? Yeah. I like this. It's like, I feel like all your low stuff is going to be really important. I kind of feel like this guy's kind of mid, all things considered. Like, it's Anthem. But it's like But it's also really expensive for the anthem. I mean I guess like if you are recovering from a board wipe, it's okay because you can do it, but I think this is more impactful than that. Right. I, I agree with that. I agree. And I've like removed 
I've added more dino, so I feel like I should take some out. Yeah. Yeah, just you you can now streamline it to the, the best dinos that there are. Right. I think I'm okay with this. Mana Cryptomus is gonna be bonkers. Nuts. That's cool. Alright, I have to do another one. What's up guys? So we're gonna be talking a little bit about the decks that we brought, uh, some of the matches we've played, all that kind of fun stuff. So I brought two quivers full of decks uh, for the event. I tried to kind of break it up more or less in power level so I can get a lot of fun games in. Have not used send triplets yet. Um, that's more for kind of pods that I know a lot of the people with. Um, Dritz I did get to play once, you know, plus one, plus one counters, shenanigans, can make infinite squirrels, can do the walking ballistic combo, so it has some combos in there. Um, every now and again I'll bring it out against casual pods, just depends. Uh, Narfi the Betrayer King, very straightforward, Anthem, Zombies, uh, lots of fun stuff, but uh, I like to bring this out a lot of times uh, with lower powered um, pods, just because it, it helps them because of how straightforward it is. Um, Sakasia the Unyielding, this is my Samurai Tribal deck. I've just switched the commander up, um, so I haven't played her as an, enough, but I'm really interested in trying her out a little bit more and, and seeing how that goes. Yuriko's a little bit higher power and could go in the other one, but you know, it, it's mainly tribal, uh, as you can see from the way it's working. And then of course our Sliver Queen, which slivers, right? You, you know, everyone knows how that works. Play slivers, profit. Um, down here we've got my favorite deck, Garth One. I've been able to play it once. Almost one through somebody um, destroying all of the lands, all the creatures, all the artifacts on the board, uh, and I still almost won that. So I was, I had a good time playing Garth. Uh, Atraxa, in fact, hence the Phyrexian writing. Chevelle Bane of Monsters. Uh, got blown out when I was playing that. It's a good deck, but it's kind of lower powered between these two, so I could probably switch Yuriko and Chevelle. Um, Silas Ren and Rebecca did pretty well with this one. Um, it is the Thopter combo um, from like sort of Meek uh, style from like Modern, that's in here. Uh, Chevelle also has um, the Yawgmoth combo, um, if you're familiar with that kind of undying shenanigans, so I do have that in there. Uh, Orvar, the all form, you, you know, it's it's a good deck. We 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 get there with there. It's it's dumb blue stuff that I can copy and, and keep going. Uh, and then of course Slicer Slicer was able to win this weekend. Pass it around, buff them up, ha have fun. It does run Possibility Storm and other kind of shenanigans uh, to be able to do it. So a couple of my decks were able to win. Atraxa did win uh, when I played against a pod with people I knew. Uh, brought out the Infect. I've slowed it down a little bit. Um, there was fun to be able to. Uh, get a good curve where I was just like, okay, I, I have a bunch of my one drops, I'll just keep playing them and and you guys are, are slowly developing, well, I guess I'll just kill you then. Here's, you know, a scale up, so now it's a six power uh, infect creature. So I've been having a lot of fun um, playing the decks that I brought. Um, you know, I did play a pod with two pre-cons uh, and did bring out the zombies and lost to Arubo, the, the roaring guy, the em Emerins, em Eminence? Uh, cat Voltron style, where it's just like, I'm gonna throw creature or equipments on this cat and kill you. Uh, so it, it wiped the board with it, uh, with everybody. Just kind of went, all right, 14 double strike, 14 double strike, 14 double strike, and just kill, kill a table. And the rest of us are just kind of sitting there going, yep, yeah, okay, that's, yeah, sure. <laughs> you know, we're playing two precons, and then I played uh, zombies there, so just not, not much I can do in that sense. But uh, I've been having a lot of fun. Uh, of course, the all the stuff that you guys have been able to see. There's lots of cool um, booths around, a lot of really cool cards. I've picked up a couple things. I picked up another set of the Trilands, which ran me about $100 for all 10 of them. Um, you know, I picked up a Phyrexian Altar that I needed for about 20 bucks. So you can get a lot of cool cards um, cheaper here at events, which is always nice. Uh, there's a couple other cards that I'm gonna go pick up uh, as well that I haven't. The filming kind of ended a lot uh, after the the first day because you know 
all day gaming. Went out, had dinner with my buddy. Um, then we went back and played more Commander with some of his play group, played a bunch of rounds of Smash, and then I went back and crashed because I was exhausted. But we're gonna go over there in a little bit and uh, see if we can pick up some more cool stuff and maybe get a couple more games in before heading home today, so. Thank you. 